So one of the biggest design challenges that we see with 56 gigabit PAM4 and 112 gigabit PAM4 systems is that it's so difficult from a signal integrity point of view to get signal integrity from the chip to the front panel I.O. What Bypass does is essentially eliminate most of the loss in that channel by doing it with twin X instead of having to go through printed circuit board material. And fundamentally, the thing is, you know when you're implementing Bypass that it's going to work so you don't need to spend a year designing individual channels, figuring out which one's gonna do it, which one isn't, where to position your chips. One of the biggest challenges they're seeing is maintaining all the signal integrity in the systems. And one of the ways to do that is try and move everything as possibly as close as you can to the front panel I.O. The problem with that is that's extremely valuable real estate and a whole bunch of things are competing for that. One thing that Bypass allows you to do is now you don't have to worry so much about the configuration and moving everything forward. It gives you tons of design flexibility because you're not so worried about the losses. So really the application with Bypass are typically top of the rack switches, core routers, edge routers, and then also we see increasingly in servers. What we're seeing here is a complete Bypass point-to-point -point channel running a Xilinx 56 gigabit PAM4 signal. We're running it through 300 millimeters of bypass double density QSFP cable and running through three meters of double density QSFP cable and then back through another 300 millimeter bypass channel. Really what this says and this communicates is the infrastructure is available today to build 400 gigabit ports uh, using Xilinx chips, bypass and double density QSFP. And what we're seeing with this demo that is so important is pre-FEC, we're getting 10 to the minus 11 uh, bit error rate. Normally, in order to meet the standards, you would expect that to be five minus six, and we're getting 11 right off the bat uh, without any FEC whatsoever. So tons of margin in the channel, and that really is the biggest thing that bypass brings.